So what are you proposing? It's simple. Kill the Batman. <laughs> Batman's arch nemesis, the Joker, is back. Only this time in the film The Dark Knight, Here's the Joker's punchline for Gotham City and the Cape Crusader is a deadly mix of fear, destruction, and chaos. We're tonight's entertainment. Well, hello, beautiful. You look nervous. Christian Bale returns to the role of Batman in a desperate face-off with the Joker that makes him question his moral boundaries. I've seen now what I have to become to stop men like him. The night is darkest just before the dawn. And I promise you, the dawn is coming. What is it that you see in the Batman character that appeals to you so much? What I have brought to it is that my only interest in ever approaching this character was in the duality of the character and in treating it very seriously. Know your limits, Master Wayne. Batman has no limits. Well, you do, sir. Well, can't afford to know him. He's not a white knight. He, he looks demonic. He has uh, violent impulses. He has an awful lot of rage, revenge, pain inside of him, but also great altruism that he's inherited from his, uh, uh, from his parents. But the good in Batman is put to the ultimate test by the evil and psychopathic Joker, played to perfection by the late Heath Ledger. This city deserves a better class of criminal. I'm going to give it to him. Gary Oldman, who plays Gotham City's future police commissioner, has high praise for Ledger's performance. I mean, Heath has taken the villain mm -hmm. to a whole nother level. I think this is, uh, could well be the scariest movie villain ever. I think, it's, I think it's more scary than Hannibal Lecter, psychologically. Why don't we cut you up into little pieces and feed you to your pooches? Hmm? And then we'll see how loyal a hungry dog really is. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Maggie Gyllenhaal takes on the role of Bruce Wayne's former love interest, who finds herself torn between Wayne's dangerous double life and the new man in her life. Bruce, this is Harvey Dent. The famous Bruce Wayne. Rachel's told me everything about you. No, I certainly hope not. So, let's put a couple tables together. I'm not sure that they'll let us. Oh, they should. My own place. Now, your character of Rachel, she has a lot of conflict. She has to choose between Harvey Dent and Bruce Wayne. You as Maggie Gyllenhaal, which one would you choose? Well, I think you might think this is a cop-out, but... Um... I had to find a way to love and desire both of them yeah. absolutely equally. You mind if I borrow Rachel? So I never made a choice. And uh, so I can't really make a personal choice either, mm -hmm. you know? And I think she's wondering all the way through it, which of these men is more honorable? Which of them is a real man? No! You'll see. I'll show you. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. 